Yo, 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 what's up everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna point out the difference between an OLED and an LCD. Now, this is very needed. I have a lot of customers that want their screen replaced, but the OLED is way more expensive than the LCD, which makes sense. All iPhones nowadays use an OLED screen. And there are quite a lot of drawbacks if you are putting an LCD screen on your iPhone. So let's get into the differences. Right here, we're starting off. Wait, no, let me just turn them around. Look at this. They look exactly the same if you look at them like this, right? Then from the back as well. This is the OLED, this is the LCD. Now, if you just take a glance like this, you cannot spot a single fucking difference. But then if we move down, you can see that... Oh shit. You can see that this is the OLED, this is the LCD. The LCD is way thicker than the OLED, look. Now, this is not without a reason. They are way cheaper to manufacture. And that's why they also sell for much cheaper, obviously. The reason this thing is so much thicker is because it works entirely differently than these OLEDs. Right here, I have an iPhone with an OLED and I'm gonna put this LCD onto this phone so we can compare them side by side. All right, everybody, now we have two of the exact same phones with a different screen on them. So let's see if you all can spot the difference. So it's not really that obvious at a glance, right? Now, the first thing I'm going to point out is that both these phones are on a black screen right now. They are turned on, but they're on a black screen. Watch what happens if I turn the light off. Look, which one is blacker? This is not really black, as you can see. Once again, they are both turned on. But this thing, it, it, it almost looks white compared to that one. That's because the whole panel works entirely differently. So the thing about these LCDs is that they have like a bunch of paper layers under them with a bunch of lights and they shine through like that. These screens take more power because they have a bunch of these paper films to light the screen. They are also much thicker because that just requires more space. You can see if I put these two things side by side, the black one is how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to sit flush in the frame. You can see on the white one that it is sticking out like a lot. The screen is like almost as thick as the frame. Look, see the difference? Now, because these LCD screens are a lot thicker and the iPhones are not really made for them and they have these paper layers, they have, they take more power so they will drain your battery more and they are not supposed to look this white in comparison to the other one. Look, you can see the difference. Now it's black and if we turn it off, then it goes really black. Also, because they, has, they are so much thicker, it is pretty much impossible to properly seal these things. You know you want your iPhone to be water resistant and dust resistant, or at the very least dust resistant. I think most of us are familiar with the problem that we get dust in the front camera when we have our screen replaced. You can still seal it up, but because the screen is so thick, dust will always find a way to get in. Look, the screen is even so thick that you can sh see the light shining through, through the camera hole right here. Like, what? So that's another real problem that will occur when you get one of these. Now, if you put them side by side and do a color comparison test, I got some video. They don't really look off on camera, but I swear to God, the colors look really dull on this thing. Mm, I could try to compare it like this. Look. This thing is really bright and colorful. And if you go over to this thing, this almost looks gray, like I swear. Look, right here it's all vibrant and colorish, and right here it is just white and dull. Now, on top of that, often with these screens, you're also going to get problems with the brightness control. And I'm not saying like real problems, problems, but it's just not optimized at all. Look, if we turn the brightness up on these OLEDs, they get really bright and they can get really dark, like amazing. If you try to mess with the brightness on these things, it barely changes. Look, because it has like this shitty backlight, that there is barely any control. Hold on. If we put them side by side, this thing is a lot brighter right now in person, but you can't really see it on camera. And if we turn them down, see, this thing is really dark. This thing didn't even change. How shitty is that? Why would you want such a screen on your phone, honestly? Anyways, you always got to watch out when you get your screen replaced in these stores because they often just put one of these screens on. They cost like 10 bucks on AliExpress or something, and then they charge you 100 bucks for it. So it's good to know what you're getting often. Now, the last thing I want to point out is the bezels on these things. 
if you look on this thing the bezels are even you can see it's all flush and beautiful and on these things because the screen is so thick the bezel is also a lot thicker on the bottom you can see that it, it, it looks kind of off if we really put them side by side you will notice the difference so I think that this is already like I don't know how many I pointed out something like six reasons that these are way worse than these I'm not saying you shouldn't get one of these like maybe maybe it's just your old phone you don't want to spend a lot of money on repairing it you just want to get the pictures off it then sure one of these screens is good but for daily use there's no way that an LCD will ever really do the job as well as an OLED on top of that these things also break really easily like you could drop it once and like not just cracked but the entire touch screen breaks or just the screen goes black so no you really 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 do not want an LCD on a phone that is made for an OLED it is genuinely comparable to putting bike tires on your car and expecting it to work properly no of course it's not going to work properly it's not made for it there's two more things I want to show off first of all is this is how you can recognize that your phone has an LCD I already pointed out a lot of things like the way thicker bezels on the bottom you can see the OLED original screen sits very flush in the frame while this thing sticks out like it, it's like twice as thick the next thing this one is an important one if you press on these screens you will see they get some kind of ripple effect look because that paper that's emitting light through it you're just pressing on it so of course you're gonna see it I had to grab a white image for this one but you can see on the OLED it doesn't work like that because it doesn't have these paper films under it I can press as hard as I want we're not gonna see that effect because there is no film under it they just work entirely differently guys this thing just has a bunch of paper films under it it shines a light through it, it has a bunch of like pixel things with, with a bit of color on top of it it's not the prettiest but it works like you can see it works just fine though while these OLEDs have pixels like all of these pixels are just self-lit things that's why if you have a pitch black image these pixels turn off so it's literally black like you are not going to get it any blacker than that that's why these things are so accurate with the colors always and really beautiful now the last thing I want to show y'all is a test or like a side by side comparison in the dark that these screens are way and way more beautiful now in a second I'll show the video and I'll let you guys decide which one is the OLED and which one is the LCD. Look at this beautiful pitch black image on the background. And this is just lit, especially if you tilt the phone. The viewing angles are terrible on one. And the other one is really pretty. Look at this, it looks like it has no color even. Until you tilt it like this. But it still looks like shit. And right here it also stands out a lot that these bottom bezels are quite a bit thicker than the side bezels. And I can also show if I press that it has this effect. And if I do that here, nothing happens. So let me just turn on the light guys. That's it for today. I uh, really hope everybody understands why you should not put an LCD on an OLED phone now. I mean still the choice is up to you. If you do it for data recovery or just testing something then sure it's all good do whatever you want but if you're fixing a phone for a customer or something you should never do this because if you're asking me if you're not telling the customer what they're getting then it's pretty much trade up scamming if you're asking me but that's just my point of view but yeah guys that's it for today i hope y'all learned a lot and really understand the difference now if y'all learned something today make sure to hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out